I think being in cold water is the absolute best. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. We are up at a decent time today. Floyd has been sleeping in all week and not napping until like the afternoon. And usually he has two naps a day, one at 9.30 in the morning and one at three, and it's like very regular. So maybe he's starting to cut back on nap time, but it's weird because he's sleeping in. I don't know, but it's made things challenging because now I can't plan my day at all. What you got? Car. Can you say car? Yeah. Car. But today we have decided, since it's unreal how beautiful the weather is right now on Vancouver Island, it's like 24 today, 25 tomorrow, we're going to take the van out and go camping for the night to Lake Cowichan, which is beautiful. The water is always like warm in the summertime. Actually, Floyd and I went in the lake the other day and it was still warm. It does not feel like October at all. Okay, so I was able to get Floyd um, down for his nap, which is great, which means that now we can just get ready. I'm just going to get ready for my day, do my face, la la la, and then we can load up the van. When he wakes up, we'll be ready to go. There she is. All right, Floyd is going to be forward facing. Yeah, it's wild. I know. It's gonna be awesome though. Like you literally will be able to like look great at him. Okay, I just need that basket up there. So if you just wanna throw everything that's in the basket in the cupboard, and then I'm just gonna go get our clothes to load up in there too. So I just checked the weather for where we're going and it's going to be like 27 degrees Celsius. I'm going to put shorts on and I think we're ready to go in the van. Go camping, Bingo? Do you want to go live in the van? Camping? I think Bingo loves actually living in the van. As strange as it is with such a big dog, I think he absolutely loves being that close to us 24-7. We went camping at that campground. Actually, our first time sleeping in the van. That's where we went, but it's closed, and this is like the boat launch area. Anyways, nobody's here, so now we're here.
Good morning from our beautiful camp spot. Got a little morning fire going, some snacks going. I think we'll make some breakfast here soon. It's a bit chilly. It wasn't too bad last night though. I actually started taking layers off halfway through the night. Floyd did not sleep at all. I have no idea if it's like teething. It must be teething or something. Cause he just like cries in his sleep. Yeah, we were comfortable at least. At least there's that. It is going to get hot today though. So we're gonna hang out, wait for that heat to come and probably take a little swim later. having a nap we figured it would be a good time to jump in the water I don't know about you guys but if any of you follow kinging it on YouTube they're awesome you should if you don't but they are fans of jumping in cold water Craig especially and so we're gonna jump in some cold water for some cold water therapy and uh, this is a little call out to kinging it because they want to come travel in their van custard across Canada maybe next year and we would love to jump in some cold water with you guys I think being in cold water is the absolute best. It's like hard to get in there. It's like all brisk and freezing when you first dip in and then you get all warm and cozy. And then when you get out, you feel just like a million bucks. Just energized, happy, it's good therapy. I will say, I do think I feel lighter. Like a weight has been lifted. Maybe I feel like a little sense of like pride in myself for just getting in the water and doing that. But it feels good, so I don't know. Maybe if you need a little pick-me-up, you should try some cold water bathing, jumping, laking, dipping, diving yourself. Daddy made us some butternut squash soup. Yum! So if you watched my last video, um, you might have seen that I started doing hormone tracking for fertility. And so I brought my Mira fertility tracker with me. I'm going to pee in this cup and I'm going to put a test strip in and check my hormone levels for the day.